Okay. Ah! <laughs> Yo babes, what you saying? I don't really know how to be a YouTuber so apologies for any emotional breakdowns or dumb shit I say LMAO don't cancel me FFS Hey guys, my name is Krishma and welcome to my tiny world If you already subscribed to my YouTube channel, you're a real one because I have no content I really, really, really appreciate it. But if you haven't seen my face before, which is understandable because this is my first ever video and I have like zero content on YouTube, then welcome. So obviously this is my first ever YouTube video and you guys don't really know who the f I am. So this first video is going to be a get to know me slash get ready with me. Like a question and answer kind of thing where you guys can basically subscribe to me if you think it's worth your time. So I've just zoomed in so you can focus on the little details that make the look come to life. Okay, so you do not want to be a dry b the First thing you got to do is obviously moisturize. My skin is so dry because... I don't know why god just made me that way but my skin is super dry so i like to use a really hydrating moisturizer and this she is hydrated so i put it on my instagram what questions you guys want me to answer for my first ever youtube video and you guys send me so many juicy ones like some i can't even answer because my dad's gonna be watching this but some i can so don't worry there's gonna be some really juicy ones but i don't need to get kicked out of my house so they're gonna be a bit you know parental friendly Okay, so I'm completely done moisturizing and now my skin she's hydrated. So the first question is, what is your name? They ask you how you are, you just have to say that you're fine when you're not really fine. So my name is Karishma. It's a very desi name because my parents are brown AF. And um, when I made my Instagram name, I said Karishma is because I thought I was being really smart when I put Karishma and MUA together and made Karishma. But every single day, somebody says to me, oh, hey, Karish. Um, hello, excuse me, are y'all on drugs or something like that? Bitch, that's not even a name. Like, if your parents named you Karish, they didn't care about you when you were born. So my real name, like what was on my birth certificate, was a secret for the longest time because my parents knew that it would piss me off. On my birth certificate, it doesn't say Karishma. <laughs> The day I was born, my dad was having an emotional breakdown and he decided to name me Suresh. When I hear the name Suresh, I straight up think of an Indian man with a thick ass moustache and he curls his moustache like this and he sings to women walking down the street. Luckily, my mom wasn't crazy and she changed my name to Karishma the same day, but on my birth certificate, it still says Suresh. So to prime my skin, I'm going to be using this high spreadability fluid primer by The Ordinary. So this has to be my favorite primer because it completely blurs out pores. Like, my pores, <laughs> my pores aren't that bad. It works really good and it's really cheap. So I'm gonna concentrate that on the areas where I know I have a bit of issues with my pores. So the next question is, are you Indian? <laughs> like all the loud Indian people are Punjabi. So now I'm gonna be using an orange concealer just to conceal anywhere where I feel like I have hyperpigmentation, which is definitely under my eyes and around my mouth. So the next question, and I swear there was like 50 people. <coughs> And I swear to God, 50 people asked me this. Was, do you have a man? Bish tenuki. Now, I don't know why this is such a popular question, but I know my entire family in India is going to be watching this. My chachi, my chacho, my masi, my mama, my tao, my grandma. And my 4,000 cousins, they don't need to know that information, okay? And Loki, the other Punjabis, as soon as they find out that you're single, the rich just start coming in and your parents start telling you to go. So anything left on the brush, I've used to just hide any acne scars. So the next thing I'm going to be using is this NARS foundation. If van you are too. So I'm just going to blend this out. And this does have like a really nice coverage. It's definitely full coverage. But if you kind of like share it out, you can wear it as a medium everyday foundation as well. Honestly, guys, the coverage is so good. All my acne scars are gone. My skin looks so radiant and healthy. I really do love this NARS foundation. So now I'm going to be using the Sleek Life Proof Concealer. And bitch, this shit is pigmented. Like literally no matter what shit you're going through in life, this is going to hide it. And it's such a nice creamy consistency but one thing i will say is that it's very strongly scented personally i like that because i feel like my face will smell good there's no big deal but a lot of people with sensitive skin will have a problem with that because they feel like it'll break them out so the next question is how many siblings do you have i have a joint family firstly i'm punjabi okay so we always have a joint family and like people will literally get offended if you say i have this many sisters because they're your real blood sisters you literally gotta be like okay i have 40 brothers and 29 sisters but if we're talking about like real blood I have one older sister, one younger sister, and one younger brother. Obviously, that makes me the middle child, which explains why my older sister is becoming a doctor, my younger sister is becoming a dentist, and I'm out here making YouTube videos. So I'm using the setting powder brush for Real Techniques, but that's because I feel like it gives you like a really natural coverage, like instead of like packing on the concealer, it just nicely blends it into the rest of your base as well. And any product left on the brush, I carry it down to my laugh line and just under my cheekbone to give myself that natural contour. Now, as you can see, it's completely concealed everything that I was ashamed of. So I I've successfully taught you how to catfish your way into a flawless skin because could you tell i had acne no the next thing that we're doing is contouring honestly god gave me the fattest forehead the fattest face the fattest nose
I use this rounded bronzer brush to buff in the contour into my skin and I just kind of like feel for where my jawline is and I enhance the blending right there. It will allow me to look more chiseled and less uh, round. Honestly guys, they say if you have a big forehead, it means that you're smart. But god no, you did not make me smart and you gave me a free fat forehead and I just don't understand. So guys, I'm done blending that and just with the foundation brush, I'm going over anything that may look like a harsh line. But honestly, like zooming in just looks flawless and just so natural. Bitch, wear. So the next thing I'm going to do is set my makeup with this setting powder. This is the Huda Beauty Banana Bread setting powder and I love this powder. I just feel like it's so good. Like personally, my makeup creases with all the powders that I use. I have to retouch and I always get laugh lines. And you know, unfortunately, if you want to have flawless makeup, smiling is just not an option. But um, this is truly like the best powder I have experienced. Okay, now this is only for the rich bitches because this is kind of expensive. Now if you want to be really extra and you want your makeup to not move ever again You can bake on top of that and you're basically just pressing the powder there and leaving it to set And that way it properly locks in everything So I'm just going to be filling my brows in with a powder because that is what I do on most days I just don't have the energy for like properly like carving out my brows and making them look like so perfect Like honestly I prefer this anyway Because I feel like when I carve them out you can tell how unnatural that looks as opposed to this where it just gives you like a natural gradient the next question is how did you lose weight now i haven't lost that much weight so i don't really understand the question like, honestly though i lost around 10 to 15 kilos for my cousin's wedding because i knew there was gonna be hella boys there no i'm kidding because indian clothing is really heavy so if you are big you're gonna look even bigger in indian clothing and i obviously wanted to go to this wedding and it was like the first massive wedding of our family like this was the biggest wedding in delhi and i wanted to look my best and i didn't want to look back on the pictures and be like oh you should have lost weight you should have lost weight i was still like a little bit chubby i'm gonna try and insert pictures i was still chubby i was still like like generally bigger than everyone else but in my own standards i lost 15 kilos so that was a massive like thing for me let me just tell you that i really f***ed up like when i tell you i am the average consumer so when people tell me that oh yeah you should try the skinny tea i'm the kind of person who spends 50 pounds on a tea bag and expects myself to lose weight honestly don't let anyone take you for an idiot and sell you a tea bag for 50 pounds if somebody tells you it worked for them tell them to shut the f*** up just don't put yourself in that situation where your whole life depends on a tea bag so we're gonna move on to eyes now and i want to do like a really nice glittery smoke because my eyes are quite small i don't like going into my eyebrow with the eyeshadow i know a lot of people take that eyeshadow really high but the first thing i do is put highlighter under my brow bone so i know not to go too high with it because it makes my eyes look so small so i'm just gonna highlight the arch of my brow and it just gives you that lifted brow illusion today i'm going to be using these two colourpop palettes to create the most glittery smoky eye so the shade is called hard i don't know why it's called hard but it's just like the neutral nude shade but it's cute so we're gonna go and just deepen the crease with that and i do like to wing it out a little bit just to make my eyes look longer the next question literally says bitch we know you got your lips done don't lie bitch where do these look like the lips of somebody that has a surgeon so i'm just taking the brush with more concentrated bristles to kind of really get into the crease with like a dark brown shade and this is going to give me that smoky eye effect Okay, so the next question is, do you want to get married? Yeah, I want to get married. I want to get married and it's going to be a big f***ing wedding. And literally the other side of the world is going to hear the fireworks that go off at my wedding. All I know is that my wedding is going to be huge. Huge. So now it's just going to get really smoky. I'm taking the darkest brown shade and I'm just concentrating that in the outer corner of my eye. And that is going to give the smoky eye the depth that we want to give it. I personally don't like going all the way to black because I feel like then when I put liquid eyeliner, you can't see the difference between the eyeliner and the shadow. And I like going to like the darkest shade of brown and then doing a really beautiful matte black wing. So obviously it looks really messy right now. And I've just got the product packed on. And now I'm going to blend it out with a blending brush. So I'm just going to use the initial brush that I used for the nude and i'm just going to use that to blend out any harsh lines so when you're trying to do a smoky eye look things can get really messy really quickly so you want to have one lifesaver brush on you and this is a really nice fluffy clean brush so when things get a little bit out of control or you've just done too much of a dark shade and you're not enjoying it you just lift your brow and you take the clean brush and you just use it to erase any harsh line and you can just blend out the consistency of the shadows so that they're not as um strong so if the brown is too brown you can make it a bit lighter by blending it out obviously so i'm going to be using this golden shade on the lid just to give it that spark effect and now this look is gonna go from basic to i'm that bitch so let's just experience this glitter together because i know it's gonna be popping whoa guys literally just look at that okay so you guys can see for yourself how bomb this glitter is like just wow like so just to enhance the smoky eye further i'm just gonna use the same dark brown shade on the lower lash line so guys, the eye look is basically completed. All I have to do now is a liquid eyeliner and some lashes. I'm going to do that off camera because it's so long. And um, bye. So guys, I completed the eye look with a winged liner and some lashes. And now all we have to do is bronze up and make the rest of the look come together. So guys, I'm just bronzing up to add a bit more dimension to my face. 
So the next question is, what do you want to do on YouTube? So obviously I love playing with makeup. So most of my YouTube videos will be tutorials on how to create different kinds of makeup looks. But I definitely will not be limiting myself just to makeup. Like I love it so much, but I feel like on my YouTube, I don't want to just showcase that side of me. I'm definitely going to be doing like hair tutorials and curvy fashion videos. Because like as a thick girl, like I've always been big my whole life. And like only recently have I started to understand what looks good on my body. I feel like that is something so many girls could relate to. Because there are so many fashion bloggers out there that look like... I look like something I'd never look like so I want to find a fashion blogger out there that really does look like me and does justice to like the average human beings body so guys I'm just gonna highlight the high points of my face so I'm gonna highlight just above the cheekbone my cupid's bow my chin a little bit I like going a little bit on the forehead as well just because it looks so good in pictures especially above the brow and obviously under the brow bone and then I just do a little bit on my nose because that looks really really cute so I feel like this whole look is really glamorous so I'm gonna complete it with a really nice glossy lip I'm gonna be using the Kylie Cosmetics lip liner in ginger It's a really nice combination of nude and brown. So on top of the lip line, I'm going to be applying this lip strobe by Sleek Makeup. So guys, this is the finished look. It's a really nice golden glam. So guys, this is the completed look and this has to be my signature golden goddess look. Obviously, the eyes are like the focal point of this look and everything else has just been really subtle. We've gone in with like a really bronze base and even our lips are like a really nice wearable nude with a beautiful gold strobe on top. And um, we've not gone too heavy on the lashes or the brows. Everything just looks really subtle and the eyes kind of steal the show. This is the look I wear when I need to make an impression somewhere because I know that when I walk in, this look is going to steal the show. So obviously, this is my first ever YouTube video, but I really hope you guys loved it. I'm going to try and get so much better with filming. Just a little brown girl living in London. I can't wait to take you guys on all the adventures I go on in my life. If you guys enjoyed my YouTube video, please give it a thumbs up. And please make sure you guys subscribe so we can make my tiny world just a little bit bigger. Thank you guys for watching. And like I always say, stay away from Siapa. It's all love.